Hey guys, today we got this uh, 420cc, 16 horsepower, basically a Honda clone Predator engine that we are going to try to get started today. Now this has a mud skipper attachment on it. If you've seen some of my other videos where we took out a longboat with a mud skipper on it, that's what this is. This prop shaft is on the back, goes out to the prop, and this engine came with a boat that my dad bought and has not been run by us at least and it might start right up although he's already done quite a bit of work on it he put a new starter on it because the original starter didn't seem to work and uh, just a general cleanup and as part of that took the carburetor off cleaned the tank it does have spark so we were going to clean this carburetor and just put it back on it but uh, I got contacted by a company called HIPAA HIPA and I've used some of their carburetors before they make all sorts of small engine carburetors uh, from weed whackers to larger engines such as this one and uh, they asked if I wanted to review one of their carburetors and I said sure uh, looked up and they actually made one for this machine it's got a couple differences which we'll look at in just a second but uh, basically it is made for these large single cylinder you know 420 I think that's 14 horsepower up to about 18 horsepower I think is what they were so uh, let's take a look at what comes in the box from HIPAA and uh, we'll stick it on here and see if we can get this machine running okay in the box this kit is basically a tune-up kit for I believe 14 horsepower to 18 horsepower single cylinders like you might find in a generator like a Honda generator or a Generpack generator. Carburetors we kind of already compared them they're basically the same except this one does come with the anti backfire sensor or device whatever you want to call it and uh, we may change out the bowl because of it because this bowl is a little bit longer we'll have to see what's what's the same inside otherwise the carburetors are are pretty much identical although the original one does have a petcock integral with the body of the carburetor as you can see here so we're gonna have to add an outboard petcock shouldn't be a problem although it may be we'll see it's probably not the right size also in the box we have a new spark plug gaskets a little bit of fuel line, the lever for the choke, which we'll need to install on the carburetor, and some foam for an air filter. So for basically 20 bucks, you get all this, and you can do like a spring tune-up on your generator, or a winter tune-up on your generator, or your large engine, in this case, boat engine. Okay, let's take this backfire device off yeah okay those were on there don't need that we'll get a wrench and take this central nut off that should take the bowl off they don't want you taking that off all right now we might get the bowl off So that looks like it's pretty much the same inside. It's a jet size. <laughs> you want me to check the jet size? No. Yeah. But we got this other bowl. It's relatively clean, so we're just going to use it because it'll fit right on with the original screw that was in there, original bolt that was in there. So, we got our petcock situation de determined. We got a temporary one. We have a temporary petcock situation determined. According to the red green chub. We'll tighten this bolt up. According to, yeah, we got a red green petcock, uh, vice grip petcock, trademark. Tight fit. Uh oh. Backwards. <laughs> I was about to say, wasn't it? Isn't this supposed to be up and down? There you go. There we go. Okay. Okay, that's our outer gasket. It matches the air filter box. 
Oh, we didn't put the choke lever on. So this is the choke lever that came with it, and it's very tall, and because of how this box is going to go on, which you'll see in a minute, it's not going to work. So we just took the one off of the old one, stick it in there, and that'll work fine. That's the way that it was on the other one. It just kind of sat on a post there, so it can't, it's captured once the box goes on. You'll see that in a second. There we go. And the spring goes in the hole you were trying to put the <laughs> throttle in. <laughs> it's just like that. Good catch. Gasket. Big fat hose. Right there, isn't it? Yeah, the center one. Huh? Right the there, buddy. One. Unlike the other one where the petcock came through this little area right now, right here. And you see down in there, you got to kind of move your hose down in there. We could just knock that off if we wanted to. Knock that piece of plastic off. It's not not a big deal. It's just it is what it is. We got it's way too, yeah, yeah, we got way too much hose line, but that's okay <sighs> for the time being. There's our uh, pet cocktail. Just temporary. Let's put some gas in. Let's go over here and compare these. Make sure that the spark plugs are the same. We'll go ahead and put the new spark plug in. Check the gap visually. Looks great. Looks exactly what it's supposed to be. It's 25,000, that's fine. Everybody likes a spark video. <laughs> Everybody likes a spark video. I didn't get that either, because I'm zoomed in. Damn it. Good spark. Good spark. Okay. Clear. Choke off. A little rev. Okay, so we did run into a little problem when we switched the bowl, and that was, that was our fault because, well, we weren't paying attention. So let me show you what exactly the problem is. So we, you see that we're just running there, running great on bowl with the, with the uh, anti-backfire unit, and it is not plugged in, doesn't need to be plugged in. The only thing it's doing now is plugging the bottom of it where it goes into the, into the bowl so it doesn't leak. But the reason we had to do that is because on the original carburetor, you'll see that there is a hole right here, and that is the pickup out of the bowl. The, we didn't notice when we put the other one in, it doesn't have that hole. 
the hole where it picks up is actually in the screw that comes in from the bottom or the bolt that comes in from the bottom. So without that it wasn't getting any fuel out of the bolt. So no big deal we just put the original bowl that came with it on it and uh, like I said it's unplugged it's just in there to to uh, prevent it from leaking you could get another bolt that is that does have the proper holes in it to pick up all right before we did all this it had 60 pounds of compression let's see what it's got now Runs on 60 pounds of compression. Doesn't seem like enough, but it was running fine. And I've yet to go check on the computer to see what it should be. Yeah. Uh, 60 sounds really low to me, but, and maybe under load, it wouldn't run that well, but with no load on it, it was running fine, so. So, it works. Like I say, these are sort of a universal unit, and they're made for the 14 horsepower to I believe 18 horsepower, but I'll check that and put that in the description. And uh, if you're interested in one of these things, they're pretty cheap. It's an easy way to just get you a new refreshed carburetor without having to do a lot of work. And uh, I'll put some links into the description for them. As always, I appreciate you watching. Thanks.